welcome to Short Film Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Last. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can't even get the days right. Still. I never get the days right. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome, and um, we have a treat for you this time because we are watching a short film called Yin Yang Insane mm. from none other than the genius, genius mind of Donald G. Jackson, Scott Shaw, and starring Robert Zadar. How could you genius. miss? How could you miss? And here you go. Here is the, uh, uh, the write-up from Internet Movie Database. Yin Yang Insane is a psychological thriller that follows a corporate gangster who after making his biggest score, finds that he is pursued by a dark, shadowy figure attempting to affect revenge. So That sounded cooler than it was. That's what the movie wants to be. Yeah. In reality, the movie is about 40 minutes of Robert Zadar... Well, 30 minutes of it. ...talking to himself. Driving. And driving. Uh, the That's other it. 10 minutes is him getting out of the car... And talking to himself most of the time. And then eventually ta being in the car and talking to Donald G. Jackson for a little bit. There is a horse. There's a horse in it. That, at least momentarily. Um, I don't know if they shot the horse. There is a lens hood that appears so often it might as well be a character. Um, there is a well, microphone well, that, that... That's in all of Donald up. G. Jackson's yeah, movies. Yeah. That's a typical there, thing. There's a... There's a, there's a a microphone that pops in enough that it might as well be a character. Um, yeah, this this is an example of the Zen guerrilla filmmaking style employed by. I've Donald, earned a cookie while watching this. Movie. Donald G. Jackson and Scott Shaw. Um, and basically, what it means is that there's no script; they just made I, shit up as I, they want. I made a joke in the beginning of the movie where I said I could watch for a second because I saw was Robert Zadar in a car. No, I said I'll I could you. watch. Robert Zadar talking to himself in a car for uh, for an hour, and he and was that's like, what you get. <laughs> "Pretty much, except it's a half hour or so, but still." It's one of those movies where you're in a twilight zone, you know. Thirty well, it's minutes. It's not the good twilight zone. You no, know, thirty nine minutes goes by, but it feels like an hour and a half because nothing happens. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's just unbelievable, but. It's Donald G. Jackson, my love, and it's Robert Zadar. And if you've grown up watching, you know, stinky uh, 80s action movies and ninja movies, you gotta love Robert Zadar, right? And the title's Yin Yang Insane. I thought it was a ninja movie. Right, right. So, it starts out with him driving in the car, and then he's going through detours, apparently. Because that's all he talks about. And windstorms. And windstorms. And then he talks about how... There aren't any houses around when there clearly are. <laughs> I mean, talking about, I mean, it just, it seems like. He's completely mind. gaslighting the audience. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. This movie was so bad. So funny. Your, your constant puzzlement was just amusing. No, just like, what? Really? What? <laughs> Why are we watching this? Because it's a taut psychological thriller. It's gaslighting. It, no, it's not. It didn't taught me anything. Oh, but it was so similar to your film. Just it was amazing. I, um, it, it even they even said follow me at some point. Yeah, so I made a short film called Follow Me back in 2018, and uh, it hasn't. We haven't like fully finished the editing, so it's not where I really would like it to be. But eventually, it'll get there. Um, too many so, detours and windstorms. Yeah, and, and the, the story is about a girl who's stuck basically in limbo. You know, she's going around and a loop. She, a loop and um, in the woods. And she comes across a guy who's supposed to help her. And, you know, she, and the whole idea is that she's supposed to be the one who says, you know, follow, uh, follow me, not let that guy follow him. Then she can move on and then she becomes the guy. You she, know, when she whatever. breaks the loop. When she breaks the loop. So that's the story of that. This is a guy talking about his biggest score that he's apparently done. Uh, that the guy, something about the guy's, this other guy's breaks and hope he doesn't crash into something. Oh. You, know, oh, oh, oh. you know, right. And all these other things. So I don't know what is going on, but apparently he's enjoying himself driving. Um, which I feel like that was the thing. Like he was just 
I almost feel like Robert Sadar wasn't even realizing he was being filmed. <laughs> he just was like, Arr, Arr, Arr. oh, sure he was. He's like, okay, we don't have a script, we don't have a story. Just make something up and we'll roll with it. That's what we'll do. Pretend something crazy's happening. No. So then something crazy does happen. He sees like himself. Long drive. We don't see it. We don't see it. He tells us. He tells us. Oh my God. He's pointing his gun at me. Damn. You know, I'm sorry, but movies are show, not tell. No. You know, no. You're supposed to show that there's a guy. And they could have done that. Very simply. Just had him get out of a car. Or cut. Make an actual cut. All right. But they didn't. And they didn't. They just had him saying, oh, my God, he's pointing his gun at me. Well, oh, I mean, my God. They did actually have him in a black trench coat a couple yeah. of times. So, yeah. They just didn't show him pointing the gun at him. Why? Why not? Like, like why? was this just something they couldn't, like, they just forgot to film? I mean, just, and then, then when they watched it, like, yeah, nobody would care. Yeah, like I said, this movie wasn't really planned. So, yeah, it's probably I'm glad s- it was a short. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It was a long ass short. It was. Uh, we, we were <laughs> checking the uh, time. It, the thing is, is that I bring up your film because, again, you made it so that it was constructed, the narrative is constructed around a loop. This movie was inadvertently constructed around a loop. It wasn't supposed to be, but it feels like it is because it felt like we were watching multiple takes of the same scene just strung back and forth when it really wasn't it's just that Robert Zadar had nothing else better to say than the same lines over repeated and over. the same lines over <clears throat> and over again you couldn't think of anything else right right I guess you know I mean I guess it's supposed to be a psychological thing you know like the the lost highway thing and you're driving down the road you can't see anything you start to hallucinate and maybe your conscience gets the better of you for the things that you've done right but that sounds a whole lot more ambitious than what we actually saw because that's not easy. You have to plan it, you have to write it, you have to have it scripted, and you got to be able to pull it off with mm. a, with a good director and a good actor. Well, you said <clears> that you read on IMDb that Scott Shaw was the director, and that's confusing because in the film it clearly it says a film by Donald G. Donald G. Jackson. G. Jackson. So I don't, I don't know. That was weird. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, like I said, if that Scott Shaw was the cameraman sitting next to Robert Zadar and Donald G. Jackson was riding in the back. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, all you saw for 20 minutes was Rob, the side of Robert Zadar's face as he's describing to you what and, he's saying. And sometimes you saw the, um, the, 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 the <laughs> microphone, the microphone poke come in poke and, in, be like that. Or you'd then, see the lens hood, like uh, you see in so many of his things. It's just, yeah, you uh, Roller Gator, that was the first time I ever saw a lens cap be a, a part of the movie, I guess, because it mm. just kept popping up. And everything, and I don't, I don't understand that. Like, how can people? You mess up once, and you go, "Oh shit, I forgot that. Let me do that." But then it just becomes like your thing, I guess. There you and go. so you know, it's a Donald G. G. I think that's how we, um, so we had done Pocket Ninjas as a yep. um, thing, and I think half of it was done by Donald G. Jackson. The yep. other half was done by some other guy. Uh, actually Somebody else without any lens hood action to right. them whatsoever. So the the ones that the parts that have the lens hood, you're like Donald G. Jackson did that, <laughs> you know. That's and funny. so you know you could like that becomes his thing, which I don't see at that point. I just don't even think that's a that, that, that's just a. That, He's doing it on purpose to I, troll us at this point. I don't think it's a trolling. I think it's just he literally it's his trademark. Yeah. You know, it's his thing. It's so. funny. Um, it's weird. And then, you know, unlike Roller Gator, which had that same weird guitar strumming throughout the entire film, this time we have dramatic bongos. It was so funny. Oh, God. And and there was a long-ass scene in the desert or something. Yeah. Oh, like Lord. a desert road, and the person, we're just waiting for a car to approach, and it's just like waiting. He actually stops and gets out, like, the one time, and he just he walks into the into the oh the, yeah, the yep. doesn't do anything. He just walks in for five seconds, and you follow him, and then, and then he, he walks, walks back out. out. Doesn't, doesn't say buy anything, anything. Doesn't say anything. anything. Like, just walks back out. Like literally, I bet they were like, just film it real quick and just get out, and oh, that's yeah. it. And the people behind the counter are like, "What the fuck's going on?" Yeah. <laughs> 
Can you imagine who those? So you never see those people at all because they would have had to well, pay you, them for or like five seconds, or not even them. like a split second. You might see part of one person, but they're not there. They don't know what's going on. Yeah, <clears throat> they don't. I wonder if they ever knew that they were on the, in this movie. Wow. Probably better yeah. that they don't. You know. <laughs> They'd be so upset. And if you want to see this movie for yourself, and you should if you're a Robert Zadar slash Donald G. Jackson fan, this is on Amazon Prime. I think it's like two bucks. So there you go. (laughs) Two bucks? What, you paid for this? Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to tell you my sources, but uh, you can. I imagine you can probably go to Scott Shaw's website and purchase it as well. If you want, I, I, look, I love you, Scott Shaw. You're you're my friend on Facebook and everything, and I love you. <clears> but um, no, I'm not paying. I'm not paying. Oh, come on, there's dollars. so much room for for you know a remake or you know a reboot. He's already given, where's Joe He's Estevez? already said Roller Shark. We could do okay. <laughs> That's enough for me. Yeah. I'm I'm done with. We're not we're not begging Scott Shaw for anything extra. Oh man, sorry <clears> man. He's he's. He's been very generous. Imagine if Conrad Brooks had been in this. It would have been so much more fun. Or Joe Estevez. Joe Estevez. Or, yeah. um, who else? <clears throat> who else is in his uh, library of peoples? And the thing is, is the you ones. know, Robert Zadar, he plays a certain type of character. Like and, a mob guy. And so this is kind of right up his alley. I'm not sure. I guess he had a gun. Yeah. A couple guns. A couple guns. One couple was a guns. cap gun. <laughs> you know, I don't know that that there's just enough of that to carry a full movie, much less a 39 and a half minute movie. Um, you, you, you need someone else. You need something else. Um, Donald G. Jackson does show up for about three minutes, and they, they talk, so that was kind of fun to see. I didn't know that was Donald G. Jackson, what he looked like, so <clears throat> interesting. Yeah. Um, so, that, I mean, that was that was nice, um, but we, we kind of needed more. You know? you know, you know what? Honestly, I thought Donald Jackson would be bigger. Like I thought he would be a big guy, you know. So Robert Starr's a big guy. Oh, I know, I know. But I just for some reason, I don't know. I think it's because the movies he makes and everything. I just thought he would look like mm. like William Lustig, Mm-mm. be a big dude and everything. Nope, he's, he's not. a little guy, you know. He, remember, he did the roller gator voice. And how about that creepy scene? Or actually, several. That's creepy right. He did scenes. do the roller. That, yeah. yeah, that's. The, the the several times where Robert Zadar gets to do the mm, <laughs> it sort of came out the of nowhere cow the weird creepy call. cow voice uh yeah that surprised you I, everything in this movie surprised me I just and I don't and not in a good way none of this stuff I don't this is think, like the second time I saw it man. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, for some reason, I would have imagined you watch this every night before you go to bed. No, nah, no. Nah. Like, this is a movie that doesn't put you to sleep, but nah. makes you happy before you go to sleep. It makes me happy when I get to show my friends this movie. Oh, where you get to it's, torture them. Yeah, right. especially when they know the people involved. Right. You know? no, like I said, if this had been just some schmuck, you never would have wanted to see it. But it's Robert Zadar, so... And even you, you said, oh, I could watch him for an hour talking to himself. Uh, Be was, careful what you wish yeah. for. Be careful. Because I literally, because like, okay, I can listen to him talk about random shit, but not the same random shit over and over. over. That's the best score I've ever done. There's another detour. (laughs) Where did they put this detour? Oh, there's windstorm. Why is this detour here? During a windstorm. No sniffing little wimps. No sniffing little wimps. That was my favorite one because later on he was like, there's so many little uh, little shits. Little shits. And I'm like, Robert, what are you, you went talking from about? Shits to wimps to what wimps are you to sh- talking about? I mean, I guess he's supposed to. I guess <clears throat> there's supposed to be some uh, guilt or something. I don't know. We don't really. It doesn't really explain no. anything. No, 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 no. Nothing gets explained. <laughs> nothing at all. It's just. This is just. You're on your own, kids. Good luck. <laughs> just watch it. But, you know, if from, you a, want to. from a stinky movie point of view, for those of us who know Donald G. Jackson, who know Robert Zadar, who know Scott Shaw, it's fun to see these guys. I'll watch anything these guys do. You said there's a video of Linnea Quigley yes. and Donald G. Jackson. And Conrad Brooks. And Conrad Brooks yes. driving. Driving. Just randomly and that's driving. a whole short. Talking about here. stuff. Yeah. But we're, I mean, okay. Yeah. Well, 
So they like to do movies about driving and chatting. I mean, I guess I could have done that with Jackie. Mm, you could have. I had a whole movie where we were just... So we did drive a lot. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Shit. But, you know, in those cases, it's interesting because Conrad Brooks is talking about, like, the stuff he did back in the 40s oh, and 50s. Oh, that's, that's good. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not just random bullshit. Um, Linnea Quigley is talking about different people this, that she worked with back in the time. Oh, so it's like interviews. Sort of, but it's not done in an interview style. He's just filming them as they're talking. You know, they pass a restaurant in Connie Brad Brooks. Like, oh, yeah, I remember eating there, and this was by blah, blah, blah. Or, oh, that studio God, used to be over there. memory and shit. They're actually, they're actually very, cool. very interesting. And that's kind of cool, especially because we're big fans of both Linnea Quigley uh. and Conrad Brooks. This was set up a little different. This was mm -hmm. set up to be, like a, like the thing says, a psychological thriller, except it just kind of sort of, you know. Wasn't. Wasn't. Was not no. a psychological thriller at no. all. Had it been something where Robert Zadar was just being himself, talking about himself and doing different things, I would have been very interested in that because who doesn't want to know about the background details and life history of Robert Zadar? You see, that would have been a more interesting yeah. movie, honestly. This was sort of like I because I because it was so half assed and not thought at all. And there like, it just... probably is because you know just like uh, you know uh, great Dennis Steckler, Donald G. Jackson shot oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of stuff because he's one of those guys that. You never know when you're going to be able to utilize a bit of film. You never know when you're going to have an actor around. He had yeah. Robert Zadar. Why not shoot him while we've got him? And it's then, literally was probably yeah. it. Like you said, it like we have Robert Zadar for the afternoon. Um, we Show talk, him. We talked to uh, Joe Estevez, and that was that was his thing. Is Joe Estevez said that Donald G. Jackson would call him up and say, "Hey, do you want to film something today?" Sure. And they would just film the day, I'm, and it, it didn't even... There's a beautiful, beautiful freedom in that. I mean, I totally get the whole Zen thing. I wish I had my own, like, camera. Yeah. You yes. Know? Then I could do shit. And like to have that. your crew that you could just pop at the, you know, the drop of a hat, let's go drive around. But I don't really have a stuff. Joe Estevez or, you know, I've got G. Larry Butler. He right. would do that shit. Well, in L.A., you can do that, especially yeah. if you build well, a group of people. Well, actually, can't now because of permits and yeah, shit. Yeah. It's really harder to... It's a well, lot harder if you're in a car, is. it's different. You can probably get away with it. You just can't be in the public street setting up in the street. I think if yeah. you're in your own car, you can, you know, pretty much anything goes. That's right. You don't have to have a permit for your own car, I guess. Right, 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 right. But, um, you know, it's just different <coughs> because, you know, when you build up a group of people there, you can just call them up and do it. I mean, you do have a small group of people here. You could do it. It's just that we don't have a name. You know, we're not Leanna Quigley, we're not Conrad Brooks, we're not Robert Zadar, we're not Joe Estevez. Not yet. Nobody wants to see us. Not yet. But people do want to see those folks, even if they're just talking about weird stuff or nothing. It's I get it, interesting. man. <clears throat> I think Donald G. Jackson was ahead of his time, man. Seriously. And, you know, it makes sense. Why, If you're going to do it, film it, you never know. You might mm -hmm. use a scene here, you might use it for something there. For the folks who are interested in that kind of stuff, we want to see it. This one might not necessarily, necessarily want to see it. It's for a completist, you know, like me. I like to see a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and I certainly like to introduce it to other people. You like to torture it to other people. <laughs> All right. So that was kind of fun. And uh, everyone wants I to was, see Robert I was Zadar. literally like this. <laughs> like after a while. Because yeah. I was so, I, I was tired of it after a while. I just could not. But it, if you're a Robert Zodar fan and you want to see everything he's done. There you go. There you yin, go. Yin Yang Insane. Yin Yang Insane. It's it sounded like a ninja movie. I got excited. I it thought is it was a ninja on movie. Amazon Prime. It is not a ninja movie. <laughs> and I will just say that, like, that sucks. Yeah. Well, no, you, you can't do too many ninja things in the car, I guess. You could. You could. Car ninjas. Car ninjas. There with you the, go. Um, nunchucks. But it's on Amazon Prime, and I'm almost positive you can go to Scott Shaw's website and buy a a, a physical copy for yourself. Who, who knows? Maybe they. Maybe you can get a, a few of them packaged together. I don't know. Um, mm. we'll have to, we'd have to go on there and see. But I'm almost positive it's up there. So check it out. Yin Yang Insane. There you go. All right. Well, thank you guys. Check I, us. Uh, I'm Yin. He's Yang. And we are both insane. And we will see you on the next episode. Next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
There's another windstorm. Oh, good Lord. That was the best deal I ever did. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby.